Thanks for stopping in YouTube. This is Scipio2. Got a new product I want to share with you boys and girls. This is the Phase 5 EBR V2. It is a extended tactical latch bolt catch. If you're familiar with the Magpul Bad Lever, the Troy whatever Troy calls theirs and a couple other companies as well as Phase 5 for that matter they all had a device that uh, would essentially clamp onto the bolt catch lever or the ping pong paddle or whatever you may refer to it as on your AR style rifle and allow you the ability to manipulate uh, bolt catch and release with your trigger finger the 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 idea behind it is fantastic and admittedly I run a Magpul bad lever on all my ARs however once in a blue moon once in a blue moon the screws that clamp it together may get loose causing sloppy play and failure to function well <clears throat> the geniuses at phase five have fixed that well I'm hoping they fixed it that's what they're claiming and I'm betting it's probably so so uh, here's here's what we got this is like I said the phase 5 EBR extended bolt release version 2 and the reason it's version 2 is because as you can see this is all one piece and their original was a clamp on bolt together style so been waiting a while to get my hands on one finally got one and here's what we get in a package mm, that card is in there there it goes so zippy lock baggy chuck that over there the back placard <clears throat> made in the USA Phase 5, WSI.com. Blah, 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 blah. Extended bolt release, monolithic, bi steel, giving the EBR V2 the ability to be lightweight, super strong. It has gone through a stringent nine stage manufacturing process, creating a product that is to depend on and trusted tactical trainers, law enforcement officers nationwide. A satin black parkerized finish meets mil spec standard 171 for small arms. Your contents will be the EBR V2 lever and the 330 seconds roll pin. So, anyway, there you go. Here's the roll pin that they talk about. That's pretty much a mil spec standard on an AR. So, here's the lever. Now, you see, this is the bolt catch and it's all one piece it's not uh, clamped together or anything like that this is all one unit this is the pivot point and it would sit in the lower receiver and as the bolt travels backwards upon an empty mag your last shot whatever this would pop up and catch it locking it rearward and you would then have the ability to with your finger push it down or lift it up to lock and release as need be. Phase 5 I understand worked on this uh, one piece unit to improve it perfect it for several years and uh, this is what you're seeing this is the latest variant and version and iteration if you will uh, if you look on the web you can see several of the different uh, hodgepodge design looking modified variants with you know these uh, arms were solid at one point and then they had holes drilled in them and what have you and this is the final result it's steel it's solid I'm putting a pretty fair amount of pressure on it. I can't really get it to flex or bend um, so I don't foresee that being a problem with you know any kind of rugged use the the finish they call it a satin parkerized I don't really know how it almost feels velvety uh, not quite smooth but not rough it just has a peculiar feel to it I mean, you probably notice I'm sitting here fondling it it's got a really weird feel to it but um, anyway 
the Phase 5 logo and, uh, you know, all one piece. So the part that would traditionally on pretty much all the other manufacturers of this style of uh, uh, device, you know, the regular ping pong paddle would have a back plate, this arm piece, and then a, a screw or two screws or five screws or whatever. And it would clamp the two together. But if those screws come loose, this falls off or it becomes so wobbly that you can't affect operation of the uh, bolt catch. That's no good. So anyway, we got a uh, new rifle we're building here at the shop and we want to run this and give it a shot and see what happens. Um, one of the perks of this particular model here, the Phase 5, supposedly is that it will clear a lot of the uh, billet lowers that are becoming super prevalent and popular on the market. You'll find that the uh, Troy, the Magpul, and even the original Phase 5, if it's not a standard mil-spec lower, the, uh, the arm here where it comes down will actually strike or contact the receiver and not allow you full function and face it that's no good but supposedly the offset and everything of this one will clear a lot of the thicker billet uh, lowers that are currently uh, uber popular on the market so that's what we're working on and this is what we're going to use so stay tuned uh, after we get it put in and uh, utilized for a while we'll probably come back and revisit this and we'll give it the uh, A-OK -okay thumbs up or thumbs down but uh, Phase 5 Tactical Latch Version 2, one-piece design, all steel, parkerized finished, includes the roll pin, and there you have it. Scipio 2, I'm out of here. Take care. God bless. Like my video. Subscribe to my video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.